Good evening, I'm Nora O'Donnell and thank you for being with us. We want to begin tonight with a deadly and terrifying day in Texas. Police say a stolen big rig semi-truck was intentionally crashed into a government office building, killing one person and injuring more than a dozen others. Two are now in critical condition tonight. According to authorities, the driver was in a high-speed police chase before deliberately smashing into the building about an hour west of Houston. A 42-year-old is in custody tonight, and police are now revealing the suspect visited the office earlier this week. Katira Winfrey from our CBS affiliate KHOU will start us off tonight with the new details. Stolen vehicle that crashed into the DBS office. Tense moments tonight after 42-year-old Clenard Parker of Chapel Hill, Texas, allegedly rammed this 18-wheeler into the Department of Public Safety building in Brenham, Texas, leaving a gaping hole. He was arrested at the scene. He had stolen an 18-wheeler earlier. He was being chased by a deputy, and then he ran into our building. We have several people that were injured, and, and one is deceased at this time. The truck was carrying a heavy load of rebar, steel reinforcement, when police say Parker slammed it into the building where various licensing services are provided. Authorities say he had been there the previous day. Parker did come to the DPS Burnham office yesterday at approximately 3 or 4 p.m. where he was denied his commercial driver license. The mayor said it could have been even worse had Parker not been pulled out of the driver's seat and put in handcuffs by law enforcement. Had it not been for their quick action, uh, as you can see across the street, the uh, suspect was backing the vehicle up and with the intent of going into it again. Tonight, the state's Texas Rangers have launched a criminal investigation. What we've seen today was an act of violence. We will prosecute this person to the full extent of the law because this will not be tolerated. And the suspect is facing multiple felony offenses, including serious bodily injury. He's being held at the Washington County Jail tonight without bond. Nora. Katira Winfrey, thank you so much.